Dr. Rodman, what led you to becoming a facial plastic surgeon? Well, I, number one, always knew I wanted to be a surgeon. That was always the plan. As young as I can remember, I was always gonna be a surgeon. When I was little, I thought I was gonna be a brain surgeon. Then I went to medical school and realized that wasn't really for me. I always thought I wanted to do plastic surgery because I took a lot of art classes in my undergrad and I really like how it's like a merge of art and science. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is that there is different paths to becoming a plastic surgeon. So one path is to do general surgery and then plastic surgery. These are plastic surgeons that do body, hand, burn, face, they, they do everything. Another alternative path, the one that I took, is I did otolaryngology, that's ear, nose, and throat surgery, <clears throat> and then did a fellowship in facial plastic surgery. I chose that path because the face is really what I've always been interested in. I remember in med school, in anatomy, we did all the other parts of the body. It was interesting. We did the head and the neck. So many structures, so many important things, so much detail. There's so much intimacy working with a patient on their face that I, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And so I chose to go through otolaryngology and do facial plastics. So I only operate on the face as my path.